Hi ladies and gentlemen, Morgan Ray from the Peter again. Um, it's video time again, and in this video, I'm going to discuss the um, I'm going to discuss an elemental spirit called Paralda, P A R A L D A. Uh, long story short, Paralda is an elemental spirit, and he is um, within the realm of uh, the element that he is attributed to, which is air. Uh, he is one of the kings of air, to put it that way. Um, <coughs> a simple example is that um, of Paralda, where you can find a description of him, is in a book that I've also reviewed and discussed on my um, on my YouTube channel called Summoning Spirits, comma, The Art of Magical Evocation by the Greco-American uh, writer and occultist Constantinos that goes by the pseudonym Constantinos or by the abbreviation Constantinos, whatever. In any case, okay, uh, the description is as follows. Paralda, elemental king, and the sphere which he deals with is air, okay? And this is what Constantinos has to say. Uh, appearance, this king appears as an armored knight surrounded by clouds. He has wings on his helmet and boots, and his armor is made of gold and yellow metal. Paralda's face gives one the impression of deep thought. Expertise slash tasks, Paralda is an excellent teacher in the area of learning new concepts. He can show you how to absorb new ideas and teach you how to create an elixir that will help strengthen your control over the airy mental faculties. Paralda's control of the mental processes also include that of telepathy and he can teach you how to master this psychic ability. So that's it. That is it in short. Just for the people that are watching this and who have no idea who Paralda is. So all you need to keep in mind is Paralda is um, an elemental spirit, specifically relating to the element air and that he is um, he is seen as a king okay so a high ranking elemental spirit um, he's not the ruler obviously of air but um, <coughs> Raphael is the ruler of air the archangel Raphael but he is in any case a uh, one of significant rank within um, the elemental plane of air and uh, yeah as usual let's get down to it from a planetary perspective Paralda is Jupiterian keep that in mind Jupiterian he corresponds to 29 degrees in Pisces, and Paralda is strong at that, okay? And um, yes, the description that I just gave um, relating to attributes and so on is correct, okay? Paralda excels incredibly so at clairvoyant faculties, especially relating to the element air. Um, so examples that I can give, aside from what's already been said, telepathy, um, Paralda can teach you how to master clairvoyant faculties that relate to air. Um, impractical for the everyday person examples are uh, telepathy, mind control, um, learning how to move objects with your mind. Uh, it just keeps going on. Um, mind control not so much, but that's just an example, okay? Uh, things that are practical to the everyday person are... Um, strengthening one's mind we're talking about um, attaining a photographic or a near photographic memory um, um, learning how to absorb ideas quicker and faster or learning how to, uh, how to absorb um, subject matters quicker and faster learning how to for example deal with educational matters faster um, by strengthening your mind Paralda can help with all of these things okay so basically, if you need to learn a record, amount, uh, if you want to learn something in a record amount of time, or you want to attain a near photographic memory where you just read something and immediately it uh, it sticks with you, then yeah, Paralda is doable. Uh, Paralda is definitely someone who can help you out with uh, achieving or attaining that. These are all examples of things that deal with air, okay? Um, of uh, faculties or... Um, attributes that uh, belong or fall under the element air and like i said paralda is really strong when it comes to these matters i can see why um, i can see why um, i can see you see why uh, why paralda is has such a high rank and again yeah these are all simple examples okay other examples are also things that deal with uh, basically everything that falls under the element air but specifically a specific specialty is occult matters so everything of a clairvoyant nature and that also aligns with air you can also approach paralda for general 
occult uh, skills okay so it doesn't matter what you want to do attaining astral senses and all of that but Allah can help you with all of those things but specifically relating to things of the air then yeah definitely but Allah can definitely help you with that uh, the only drawback of working with Paralda is the possibility of an accident or misfortune befalling you, a minor accident, minor in between brackets, okay? So minor to moderate accident befalling you. An example that I'm going to give is the fact that Paralda has been spooking through my head the past two or three days. And today I decided to, or last, last night, yeah, yesterday in the afternoon and between the afternoon and the evening I decided to... I decided to um, I decided to really dig deep into uh, Paralda's research um, into research on Paralda and dealing with these matters um, and well what, what do you know okay after I spoke to Paralda my network connection fell out okay internet in the hotel that I'm staying fell out as well as my mobile data network and I really started stressing yesterday because I can't do anything without internet, okay? No internet for me, personally, just like any other Western modern person, equals no electricity. I'm not going to sit in the dark and I can't do anything about it. And um, I, I obviously didn't place blame with Paralda in the, in the first instance. But after calling my network provider and after, um, you know, going after every other rational reason for why networks fell out, Okay, so my mobile network as well as my uh, Wi-Fi simultaneously and having to hear that nothing's wrong with the connection then I was like yeah okay my intuition was already telling me that it was him of course Paralda doesn't do this deliberately okay so uh, I'm when I say blame I mean blame in a metaphorical or figurative sense okay and I just politely asked Paralda to withdraw his energies from uh, from me but as you can see this is only brief okay I, I didn't even work with Paralda exclusively or extensively I this was only m m due to a brief interaction with him and you already had this happen so imagine if you were to work with him on a serious note okay what other things can happen lines of communication can go down or something similar in this case the uh, okay the internet as a whole as a network okay falls under the element air Communication also falls under the element air since it's uh, a Gemini, since it belongs to the zodiac sign Gemini, and Gemini is an air sign elementally. Uh, again, these are other, ex other examples, okay? Uh, radio wave frequencies, all of these things are pass through the air, they pass through the ether. Ergo, they belong to the element air. Um, yeah, so that happened, and I was really stressed out, and... Um, I remember calling a representative of uh, the, my network provider and I told him exactly what happened. And he told me, you're telling me that both connections fell out. This is the first time in my entire career, okay, as uh, for in working for a telecommunications company that I've heard that, that I've heard something like that happen, that both networks fall out simultaneously. There is no general disturbance, sir. Okay, everything works just fine. And it was only after a good while uh, that I heard that there was indeed a disturbance but again there was a disturbance on mobile network as well as um, as well as just the broadband internet but again this only came a couple of hours after um, this only came, occurred a couple of hours after uh, after I already said to myself you know what I'm not even gonna bother I'm just going to stress out if I continue focusing on the internet so I'm going to do my best to not um, pay attention to it and I just went out and all of that and uh, but still it's way too much of a coincidence and besides other people in the hotel other customers uh, as well as just other people that I know had no issues uh, despite the fact that they were uh, their customers of the same internet provider their mobile data network worked just fine I was seemingly the only one with this issue the problem has resolved itself now everything works fine my mobile data network works fine as well as my uh, well my wi-fi still needs to be fixed but um, again that's wi-fi there is already an internet connection i just need to connect to it okay so the wi-fi is also uh, is also uh, has turned back to normal and yeah that is pretty much it so that's one thing that you need to look out for okay this is not meant offensively towards paralda but uh, yeah Paralda unwittingly or um, 
okay, undeliberately or indeliberately has this kind of side effect or a side effect that of such a nature, okay. Uh, so yeah, you need you just need to watch out for a minor to moderate chance of accident or misfortune befalling you when working with Peralta, especially ex ex extensively. This doesn't this isn't mandatory or this is just a case in general. Keep in mind that it differs per person, so it doesn't mean that just because something like that happened to me, it's automatically going to happen to you, anyone else out there watching this video, preferably. Uh, last but not least, Peralda's appearance. Yeah, Peralda's appearance immediately gives away a layer, a layer of airiness. If I were to see Peralda, I, I would also definitely consider him an air spirit or a spirit that that attributes uh, that is attributed to an air sign. Um, um, despite the fact that Peralda is Jupiterian, like I just said, his uh, corresponding zodiac sign is uh, Pisces, but he still falls under the element air. Okay. Um, Jupiter is from from a planetary and zodiacal perspective, but and Pisces is from a zodiacal perspective. But um, elementally speaking, he does belong to the element air, and that automatically got, his appearance also gives that away. The appearance that I uh, discussed briefly or that I read out loud uh, out of uh, the book by the author Constantino, Summoning Spirits. Uh, nah, he didn't appear that way to me. Uh, he looks a lot like Ejen, okay? For those of you that don't know, um, just watch my video on Ejen, the Goetic spirit, or the spirit mentioned in the Goetia Ejen, one of the so-called four, car car one of the four cardinal kings. In any case, uh, Peralda appears as a man with wavy long hair. Hair can also be curly or a mixture thereof, wearing a white robe and uh, golden yellow linen uh, associated with his white robe, a golden yellow sash or something equivalent to that. And Peralta's entire way of moving is definitely gives away that he's an air spirit. He's also he's very airy. Um, if that helps, I I have a bit of difficulty describing it. Okay, it's just um, you could just see the air around him to put it that way. The same way that you can see wind around you, or you can feel wind around you, and you see objects moving around you like leaves and so on when you're in the park, for example. That's the entire way that Peralta um, that Peralta that Peralda appears to me or that he appeared to me yesterday and his way of moving about and going over just going around okay from left to right immediately gives away he's almost like um, someone that's being swept up by a gust of wind okay but a strong gust of wind at that moving um, moving around literally like he's part of the element air itself uh, so yeah that immediately gave it away and I was like okay wow that's uh, that's very interesting okay even if I, I didn't know about you, I would have potentially pegged you as a as an air spirit. The entire way that you appear is, is really airy. And in any case, that is it regarding Peralda. Personally, I wouldn't work with Peralda because uh, he has nothing that he has nothing to offer me. Okay, um, his skills, despite how how skilled he is at providing these skills, um, they have they're of no practical use to me. Okay, if um, I ever need something like this, then Peralta is definitely someone that I'll keep in mind. Although I don't appreciate the, uh, the side effect, but there's nothing you can do about that. I understand that simply comes with the package, to put it that way. Uh, that is it in any case. Thanks for watching. Bye.